Hi everyone, it's Angie and welcome to another episode of First Impressions. I got this 20 set of metallic um, pens, water-based ink pens, brush tip. Right, so most surfaces. So I thought we'd have a look at them. So these were $9.99 uh, from Amazon. They're by Guangna. See, there's 20 pieces and they are metallic. So you've got um, the colours here, metal yellow, metal orange, metal blue, dark green, golden, metal green, deep purple, deep blue, metal pink, white, bronze, metal red, lake green, grey, silver, metal deep purple, light grey, red brown, dark brown and metal purple. So we'll have a look at them. So I'm not going to take them out in any particular order. Just going to take them out. So the first one is a sort of a silvery sort of grey colour, maybe black. I don't know. It's hard to say. Sort of a silver, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't say on it what the colour is. It's sort of got a very dark grey tip and end, and it just says on it. Guangna metal pen number 6510 and then there's a barcode, it's hexagonal. I've got my book here that we were colouring in before when we did this one. So we're going to just try and colour some of this. Now, to be fair, it all so this is what the, the tip looks like, if I can just get it onto the screen, see if it'll focus. No, it doesn't want to. Anyway. But let's see what they colour. Well, they're very nice to colour with. I don't know what colour is, but it's a little grey colour. I'll just do it in bits so you can just see. It goes down quite nicely. I'm always looking for something that looks good, um, metallicised, a good metallic, and I always find it very hard to find, find one. So, I hate buying them. The jelly rolls are very nice. Um, so it's sort of like a grey colour. I'd say that is the, the grey. It might be the silver, it's hard to tell. Because, like I said, it doesn't say, I think it's the grey, it looks like there's a silvery one coming up. Next one is a very light blue. So, well, it looks like it's a light blue. Whether or not it is, when we actually colour in with it, I don't know. So, we'll just colour in a bit of this, see what it looks like. Oh, that is a nice colour. It's a lovely blue. Of course, it depends what it looks like when it dries. I'm just going to... Do this candle with it. Just so we can actually see. Paul's listening to me and I don't say we've just done a quiz. We never win, but uh, it, it's quite nice, it feels okay. It's not horrendous. This is a very nice light coloured blue. So obviously if I was colouring properly I'd be doing it slightly differently, although I might do one with this at some point. Okay, so that's, the blue, that's a light bluish. The next colour is actually the white. So I'll just do one of the flames with this, just to see. I'm probably going to get a pencil case for these because I can see me getting annoyed with the... Um... Yeah, it's definitely white. And it definitely covers it. It's hard to say that it's metallic, but it's definitely a white pen. Next is another sort of silvery colour. So this might be the actual silver, I'd say, looking at it. So, uh, I'll do this bit here. Yep, yeah, that's silver. I'm not going to do much with the silver because silver is silver as. 
Um, you can't even see it anyway, so yeah, it's definitely a silver. It's not a bad silver, I might use it again later. I'm just going to tip them out actually, just so that I can see all the different colours and move across with them. So the next one is a green. So I've done those four. So I'll do this one on the end here. I'm not very good at this. It's a very nice little green. A very nice light colours. I think you've got to do it like that because when you go back it can sort of make it look a bit black almost. They handle nicely, it goes down decently. I mean they're not expensive pens but they're all right. And the next one is a darker green. So we have got some more up here we can colour in. So although it's a darker, it's a very weird colour. It's more bluey than green, but it's nice. This is sort of a bronzy brownie colour. This little bit here. Well, that's a nice colour. Overall, they go down nice, and this will be nice for the pattern books I've got. I've got so many of them. I'm planning on colouring in a pattern book soon, and I'll, I might well use these. Like I said, it doesn't matter what order we do them, and as long as we do them all here. So it's a pink one, a uh, red one, pink. I don't know what colour it's going to be. It's pinky red, pinky colour. I always think with metallics they never look as dark as I would like them to be but uh, yeah, they're all right, it's not bad. You know if you want to add some metallic to a picture a Christmas one and perhaps you don't just you don't want to use just too much glitter. You can use a metallic pen. This is a brighter pink colour. We're just going to do this here. Here we go. Next is sort of a gold colour. Goldy bronzy colour. It's quite a nice colour actually that one. Unfortunately we're out of focus again. Don't know why that's happened. There you go. Can you see that? Okay, so we've done that bit. I know I need to finish off this one. Yeah, we've still got a bit of space on that one as well if I need to. So that's those. Our next is a nice a yellow colour. So we're going to go up to this one now. And this will be interesting because there's a lot of... Uh, oh, slightly off the page there. We on zoomed in all the way? Yeah, no, it's fine. See what this yellow is like. That's actually a very nice yellow. Its colours are sort of brown, copper, bronzy. Looks like a quite a dark blue. So. Looks a dark blue. They're very shiny. I will give them that. They are very, very shiny. Then we've got sort of a, another brownie colour. Without them having the colour names on there, it's very hard to say what, what they are. But 
they're okay. Because um, the other ones I've got, uh, the, the, these don't feel like a brush, they're more like a nib. Um, so then we've got the orange one. And I think the problem I've always had is I don't like the brush so much. They look nice. So this is a metallic orange. So we'll do a bit on this one so we have a quick look at the orange. Quite nice. This is a, a red one now. Or a pink, I'm not actually sure. I think that's meant to be a red. It's quite a thick nib, so the control's not as good as it would be if it was a really fine nib. But this is just a demonstration. Obviously, if I was working in a book, I'd be a lot more careful. Yeah. This is another yellowy gold colour. Um. Ooh! That is nice. I'm liking that colour very much. Yeah, that's a nice gold. You can see that. That looks really nice. There's only two more colours left. I mean, I'm not going to go mad and colour loads in with this one. It's just to get an idea of what the colours look like. This is actually quite... These are quite nice pens. This isn't the best paper for it, to be fair. I'm going to look at a lie, but... It's quite, quite nice. And then a purple. Oops, Jennifer's coughing. Hope she's okay. I just checked on her. She was sound asleep. But uh, here we are. So I'll just leave it like that. And of course that leaves me with some space to use other pens on. So we did the candles. It's quite shiny. Uh, we did most part of this bell, not brilliantly. The reds are looking a lot redder on camera than they are in real life. But yeah, I really like those. So uh, those were the Guang Na 20 metallic colour pens. They were, I think, 9.99, something like that on Amazon. Are they worth that? Yeah, I'd say they're about worth that price. I wouldn't pay any more for them. And um, we've got 20 colours, which is nice. Usually you only get about 8 or 10. So it's nice to have um, an orange and a bright yellow, as well as a nice gold in, in there. So yeah, they're worth it. I mean, if you don't want, if you, if you only want a couple of metallics, just get a set of metallic gel pens. But if you want, you know, I like doing the patterns and these would be perfect for some of the pattern books. I'm going to try it out and have a look in a bit but um yeah so they're worth 9.99 i'd say they're worth it you know you've got 20 for a tenner what's a 50p piece i can i can live with that they're easy to hold they're very comfortable in the hand as you can see i'm left-handed they're very comfortable so definitely worth picking up if you come across them and you want a, a range of metallic colors if you want more than the usual four or five that you get you know go for the for those and like i said when we did the ones in the um the um jelly roll there was what six i think one two three four five six yeah there were six colors which is usually enough for anybody but i wanted some different colors so i'm really pleased that there's an orange and a bright yellow as well as a really nice nice gold and a nice sort of burnt gold so they're really nice colors I hope you've enjoyed this first impressions. Obviously, once I've coloured with them, you will actually see see them in the completed pages when I do one. I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below and hit the notification bell if you're not already if you've not already done so, so you receive a notification when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.